Yes. So hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Yes. I'm good. So my name is um, Zop Lady. Zop Lady. I like it. <laughs> That's me. I like it. Blanca, okay, yeah. nice meeting you, Blanca. Yeah, Blanca, I see today you are invited to sexual education for kids. But looking at you, you look very young. Do you, are you a mom? I'm not a mom yet. I'm okay. 21 years old. Yeah. And I really like children. So okay. what I'm doing is, I'm doing our best. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. So of all other side jobs you have to do, why did you choose all of them? Because as I said, I, I really like children and I find them very interesting. Yeah. And with children, mm -hmm. you, can, you can really be yourself. I yeah. mean, if you do some stuff like... <laughs> People are not going to laugh at you. Yeah. Because you're with children. Yeah. Being so pure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So who introduced you to all of them? Who introduced me? Yeah. Who introduced me? Well, I had this friend that I was there. And I always looked up to her. So okay. I, I think my interest started. Okay. Well, so what are some of the success stories of an old pair pretty young woman? A what story? A success story. What are some of the um, advantages of becoming an old pair? Do you love doing it? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. So I really love doing it because what I want to do in the future is yeah. I really want to do social work. Okay, wow. So we need to start knowing children yeah. really when well, you're in like living in someone that's what I'm doing. So I'm yeah. living in someone else's house yeah. and looking after their children and yeah. like the system. Yeah. So observing what's going on around them is, yeah. is interesting to me yeah. and I think it's necessary mm -hmm. for a social worker to mm -hmm. be able to, mm -hmm. to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Inside mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Wow, wow. So, what are some of uh, the typical challenge for you as an au pair taking care of kids? Typical challenge? Yeah. I need to really speak nicely <laughs> now about the parents. <laughs> If I, if I have to give an example, why yeah. I'm saying that yeah. is because the little child is during a time, you know, you as an au pair have to be able to manage yeah. with them. But if the parents come and they get themselves involved while you are busy, mm -hmm. taking care of the, the mm -hmm. tantrums, mm -hmm. you can't do it, like, you, you can't dissolve the problem if the parents are going to come in all the time. Okay. Yeah, so I would say that's the biggest. Well, because as a mom myself, I dealing with tantrums with kids. It's, it's something which is so difficult. Sometimes it get up to here. So being somebody who has not given birth before and you are doing this job, thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think having um what do you call it? My English is running out now. Yeah. Um, patience, patience yes. for someone else's children. Yeah. Then you're I wow. I think it's easier having more patience with other people's children. Than your own. Yeah, I think she's right. Because um, I'm in my 40s and she's in her 20s and then she already has some skills that I'm now tapping into it. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to today's um, topic? Sexual education for children. Yes. What I I would really like to understand like how the brains the the brains the brain, you know where yeah. they start to mm -hmm. to find themselves mm -hmm. um, their bodies mm -hmm. um, and when he's drinking milk mm -hmm. only drinking milk mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. from the movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow. but that's, that's Wow, yeah. wow. So, do you have any message for any young lady to know that being an old pet is a beautiful experience? Would you want to share something? Now, I want you to look into the camera and look into my subscribers and anybody who chance on this video, give them a message for me. Okay. So, what I would like to say to a lot of young Young ladies out there, if you're scared to do a pair, don't be because the moment you start working with children, you start to love them so, so, so much that that's all you want to do. You may have other plans after you a pair, um, but you're really going to start loving those children so much um, and you wouldn't want to do anything else. So I would. I would show someone to do a pair, yes. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello.
Hello. Yes, so this is one of the wonderful mom here, and she's here for, to attend the sexual education. And I want to ask a few questions. Yeah, what are your expectations for today's session? Um, I'm looking forward to this workshop because um, I've got a daughter who's two and a half years old and um, there are just lots of questions in my mind about her sexual development, when to address um, certain topics, when to um, explain certain sexual things, sexual topics to her, um, how to best explain it so that she's well educated but not doesn't get too much information. So basically just to um, give an age-appropriate um, sexual education um, without you know, yeah, um, giving her too little information because I think she needs to be informed but obviously at this age there's yeah you can't you can't talk about too much yes exactly okay so i also want to find out from you where did you learn about this um, program um, I actually um, have had an actual birth with uh, my daughter and uh, we were at a uh, midwife uh, unit um, exclusive midwives um, sorry midwives exclusive <laughs> the name of the midwife company which I can highly recommend and they used to give those workshops on a regular basis and unfortunately and unfortunately I missed a lot of the workshops um, because I was just had mummy brain and uh, yeah and then I got hold of the, the presenter myself and tried to arrange the workshop now on my own time. Thank you so much. So what other message would you have for potential moms? Any message for potential moms on sexual education? I think be open with your child. Um, again, obviously, you know, you can't talk about everything in too much detail. And that's why I'm also here to actually get a bit more information how much detail I can give. But um, be open, um, be frank, be, um, yeah, include your child in all the conversations. And be aware that they're always listening. Whatever you say, they're always listening. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, all the best. Thank you.